Alright, so let me show you the final video in our Star Wars series, creating this fun Star Wars invitation using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Um, I used these for my son's birthday party and we actually had a magician uh, come and perform tricks and we called him a Jedi, performing Jedi mind tricks, which is pretty fun. Um, Alright, so before we get started, I do want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel which goes through the other tutorials for creating the Star Wars printables, uh, as well as a number of other printable um, videos on how to create various printables, including flyers and invitations and uh, straw tags. So please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and or like any and all of my videos. I am so appreciative. Alright, so uh, first thing we want to do is click on File, New blank document. We then want to click on page layout, click on the margins, and we want to click on narrow, orientation, landscape. Next we want to insert a shape and we want to insert a rectangle. And we can just click anywhere on the page. Okay. Now we know the shape is selected because it has these little boxes around it, these little squares. Okay, So we want to click on format. I'm going to go up to here. We want to make this 5 by 7 to fit in a 5 by 7 envelope. And then we can move this until it is centered and we see that green plus sign in the middle. Next thing we want to do is format this shape and we want to change the outline to yellow and we want to change the weight and we want to go to more lines. And the reason why we want more lines is we want to do a very specific width of 3.5 and we want to change the lines to thick, thin. And it creates this nice little fun border. Okay. Now what we want to do when we get recreating this is we want to grab the Millennium Falcon, grab that space background, and grab the um, lightsaber. So let's go up to, I like to use Google, but if you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. And let's go ahead and type in space background stars, and let's click on images. And this image looks good, but the problem is, is it has this little thing down here, and we don't like that. So let's just go ahead and click on View More. And here's a nice space background. So let's use this. So let's go ahead and do Save Picture As. Um, save it as Space. Okay. Now let's go back up to Google, and let's type in Millennium Falcon. And once again, let's click on images. And we have this image here, which looks about right. And we want to save picture as, and let's save it as mill for millennium. And then finally, we want to do blue light saber. And let's click on images and Hmm. Let's go ahead and let's actually type in lightsaber.png. And what the .png does, it gives you a transparent background. And actually, I think this might be the one we used. Okay, so as you can see, this um, sort of light gray and white checkered background, that means that background is transparent and that's what we want. So let's go ahead and save this picture as lights. And what I mean by transparent is it means it doesn't have sort of that white or black background. It's all it has is the lightsaber in the picture. Okay. So let's go back to our invitation and we want to click on our square and we want to click on format and we want to do a shape fill and we want to go down to texture and we want to go to more textures. And it's going to open up this format shape on the side. And what we want to do is we want to select picture and we want to select our space and we want to ensure that tile picture as texture is selected. If we don't do that, it's going to essentially just elongate the picture. And although it looks okay on the screen when it prints out, the stars are going to um, look like they're blurry. So we want to tile the picture as a texture, and essentially that's just going to um, lay the picture right next to the picture right next to the picture. It's not going to elongate or warp the picture in any way. Okay. All right, now let's go through and let's insert a picture and let's insert our Millennium Falcon. Okay. And what we want to do is right click, because if we try to move this picture around, we can't do anything with it. 
So we want to right click and we want to do wrap text and we want to say in front of text. And then from here we can now move this picture and we obviously want to make this picture considerably smaller. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to, and actually let's make this a little bit bigger, uh, we're going to want to crop this picture because it has a lot of space. And you see that little black T? That means as you pull it over, it's going to make that picture smaller. And just grab what you want. And the stars luckily will fit the stars that we have, the background. Okay. And then we can make this just a touch bigger. Mm -hmm. And let's move it. And let's once again click on crop just to crop this side over here. And there we go. And we can um, select the picture and then use the arrow keys on your mouse or on your keyboard in order to move that picture in a very fine grained fashion. All right. So next thing we want to do is just add a whole bunch of text boxes. So we're going to go through and we're going to insert text box. And we're going to click on draw text box. And we want to go all the way up here and drag that down. And then we want to center that. Okay. So a couple things here. Um, obviously this is a big ugly white text box. So we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline for that text box. The next thing we want to do is click on home and we want to change the font color to white and we are using Star Jedi. If you do not have Star Jedi and you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch my video on how to do that. And the size of this is 20 and we are going to want to center this. Okay. And then you can simply write join us in a galaxy far, far away to celebrate. And then the other thing we want to do is highlight this and you want to click on line paragraph spacing options and line spacing options. And a lot of times this will default to adding spacing before and after and we just want to change this to single space and zero. And that'll move that on up. And then we want to do Cole's seventh birthday. And we want to highlight this and we want to make this a 36 point font and we want to make this red and we want to add a outline of black. Okay. And then we just want to click on enter. And once again, we want to make this 20 point fonts and this is actually impact. Um, I like to change up the fonts a little bit. Um, we're going to type in where, and actually let's go ahead and highlight all of this and make this once again white. Lewis Creek Picnic Area. When Saturday September 12th time to 30 to 4.30 and RSVP email at gmail.com and from here we want to insert our picture and we want to insert our lightsaber and again, we want to do in front of text. Now again, I talked about the fact that the lightsaber was a PNG, so it had a transparent background. So notice there is no white or black background. It's just the image. That's what we wanted when we got the, the, the PNG background. Okay, let's obviously make this much smaller. And then we're gonna use this little circle up here to just make this horizontal. And then finally, we want to insert 
insert our text box, draw text box, and we want to have it go all the way over here. And let's actually move this up slightly. And let's actually move this whole thing up slightly so we have a little bit more room. Okay. And from here, we want to type in, again, we want to format this and do a shape fill of no fill. And we want to do a shape outline, no outline. And we want to go home and we want to make this centered. And we want to make this star Jedi font. And we want to make this 11 points. And we want to make this white. All right. Famous Jedi will be performing Jedi mind tricks from 2.45 to 3.30, followed by destroying the Death Star, which was actually a um, pinata. <laughs> and pizza will be served at 4 o'clock. Okay. So now how did I um, have this font look like it's going up the page like at the Star Wars. Well, the first thing we want to do is go to the line spacing options, as always, and change this to zero and single. And then the next thing we want to do is click on format, and we want to go to the text effects, and we want to click on transform, and we want to scroll down here, and we want to do this fade up. And this is what's going to make it look like that um, the the words are going up like it does in the beginning of, of Star Wars. And you can use this little pink box off to the side to make this a little bit easier to read. I think I misspelled famous. Um, to make it a little bit easier to read. Um, but that's essentially how you can get that effect of the um, font going up the the page like it does in Star Wars. So again, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like the video on YouTube and watch the rest of my um, videos in the Star Wars series. Thanks so much.